Hello and welcome to another episode on Dirty Saxophone Gaming. So today's episode is going to be a discussion of the end game in the Monster Hunter franchise. In my case it's going to be in World and in Rise. And uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because in my last video, the one uh, about the, Ri the, the Rise review video, I talked a little bit about the end game, and I came to a realization about a few things that I thought were pertinent enough to make a video about. <laughs> and I actually think <laughs> the way I feel about it, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty conflicted about my own feelings towards the matter. Because well, I've come to certain realizations that, well, I'm just, I'm gonna just get into it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to start off by talking about what the end game in these games is for me in general. Because it varies from person to person, of course. So for me, the end game in the Monster Hunter entry is the roulette of monsters that I, that I take part in. At, at the end of the game and usually I guess uh, these monsters tend to be the I guess end game monsters for lack of a better word in world for example it was the tempered tier threes and the arch tempered quests and some of the other event quests some of the higher tier event quests so tempered devil joe tempered basil goose uh Tempered Stygians and Ogre, Tempered Jang, and then Tempered Teostra, etc., etc. And then afterwards, uh, you had Alatreon, Fatalis, and Arch Tempered Volcana. Uh, Namiel is nameless to me. I, I, that monster is just horribly made. <laughs> uh, but that's just that's a maybe a discussion for another. I just don't like the fact that uh, it has too much area denial, uh, massive hitboxes and uh, it was just as as much as I practiced it I just couldn't I could not get into that fight no matter what anyway uh, Kieran as well I, I had forgotten about Kieran honestly Kieran is just a bit another mess honestly I, I think that what I dislike the most about Kieran is just that he's such a tiny monster Jang is tiny but he comes to you regularly he comes after you so he comes to you and eventually gives you opportunities to do damage. I felt like Kieran was the opposite. He constantly pranced away from you. It was just horrible. Probably. Maybe with a little bit more practice I would have come to enjoy Kieran, but I never got around to it. Anyway, so that's the end game for me. The roulette of monsters that I engage in at the end of the game. Usually I don't care about the uh, the rewards once I've gotten all the equipment I'm looking for. And uh, I just do it for the hunts. For, for The hunts themselves are pretty much my, my source of entertainment at that point. And it Rise, it is the Apex Emergency Quests, which I haven't finished practicing all the way. So far I've practiced the uh, Apex Arzuros, Apex Rathian, and I've gotten started on Apex Rathalos. But uh, I also did a little bit of practice with uh, Mizutsune, but Mizutsune is uh, a weakness for me. It has these very weird body movements that I just haven't gotten accustomed to. And there's also the Advanced Volstrax quest, and that, to me, is what comprises the endgame in Rise. So, after trying out the endgame in Rise, I came to the I came to the realization that uh, the flavor of the of the end game in Rise was different from World in regards to the damage, I guess you can say. So, for those of you who watched my last video, you'll know that I don't gather spirit birds. Spirit birds is to me just the worst thing imaginable honestly maybe it's not uh, it's not like the game is broken don't buy it no that's not what i'm saying but to me it's like i do enough preparation already i pop a might seed uh, take a mega demon drug and then uh toss some demon powder sometimes protective polish and all that stuff i do enough hunt preparation already things that i do i do 
enjoy having to do it it creates a structured hunt since uh, i guess experience but if you try to tell me to spend two or three minutes running around the map collecting these spirit birds and then come back and hunt them out i just i'm just not gonna do it. my brain shuts down it's not it's not gonna happen so that's why i don't gather spirit birds so what this has created for me in the end game of rise is that it's turned the end game loop into a cascading waterfall of one shots as i like to call it and well as i stated in my previous video there are certain instances where it doesn't feel right because there are some attacks that these apex emergencies put out that don't feel like they should be one-shotting you uh, and and i'll get into into that in the future a little bit more in depth but uh i feel like sometimes they put out what look like light attacks or lightning fast attacks that just destroy you they cart you immediately if they touch you and and the, and the reason why that is is because the game is tuned to be difficult for players that are using health boost. And uh, I think this is the perfect segue, I guess, to get into my point. Uh, my, the, the, the ultimate point I wanted to make in this video. And that is that I'm starting to feel, honestly, like health boost as a skill and as a spirit bird alternative or whatever it is. I think it would, it would greatly help the franchise if they removed it and the reason why is because i prefer my difficulty in these games to be structured in a way that has a little bit less to do with how much damage the monster does because uh, i'm not saying that that the monsters should have no one shots they definitely should and they should they should do or use their one shot attacks as often as possible to make them actually dangerous I'm just saying that their light attacks, the ones that that don't have much wind up and the ones that that are slow moving or whatever and everything, I'm asking for those to two shot you or three shot you. I would prefer the monster to have majority two shot attacks and one shot attacks to make them difficult. But when every little tap or what feels like a little tap carts you, then it becomes I feel like less imaginative like like all all you all you do is crank up the damage and just let it fly and it just doesn't feel right and if they were to remove health boost what that would do is it would it would I, I would say it, it probably sounds crazy but I would say that it would liberate the devs in a way where they they wouldn't be forced to tune these monsters to health boost they'd be forced to, to tune the monsters to a set amount of health that every hunter will always have every time that they come out to hunt, as long as they have eaten and taken their max potions and whatnot, which all of us do, or most players should be doing. And by doing that, it makes them structure these monsters in a way where they can simply worry about the attacks themselves if if an attack has a long wind up or if an attack is maybe the most pertinent to a monster like i think rathians for example apex rathians tail hits should always one shot you because those are like those are her special those are her specialty arzeros's um long wind up claw attacks should always one shot you because that's its specialty Rathalos's fireballs, I think, should always one-shot you because that's its specialty. But once you start getting into, like, uh, maybe gashes with its talons when it, like, kicks you or when you start getting into, like, uh, like head bumps or little snap bites or things that they like to do, you should start, at that point, talking about two shots and three shots. I feel like that creates... Uh, a more I don't know just a just more palatable structure it creates a system where the devs aren't tuning a monster's difficulty based on how much health the hunter has now I'm not saying that 
that's 100% because they do always to some extent have to tune that monster's difficulty to how much damage it does to the hunter. But if every hunter will have that same amount of health every time that they go into a hunt, it means that they can base a lot of the difficulty for a monster based on that monster thematically. Like, as I said before, Apex Rathian relies on its tail for damage. That's its preferred weapon. So Rathian's tail attacks should specifically either be the one shots or the ones that are uh, the ones that most of the time will knock you out of the hunt completely. But once you start getting into like uh, her biting attacks or or other attacks that come out really quick or things like that, then then we should start either talking about two shots and three shots. And I feel like ultimately that results in a much more balanced experience and before i finish up i want to point out that this isn't to say that i'm not having fun with the apex emergencies i'm not crying for something to be more easy <laughs> and it's interesting that i that i guess have to say that but i think i do and uh i can do those quests and i'm doing them and i'm still having a lot of fun with them i just think that they could have been structured better and I would also like to point out that I'm not saying that Rise is worse than World at the end game. In all actuality, the end game in World, specifically for me, which was Arch Tempered Volcana and uh, Fatalis maybe occasionally, and some of the Tempered Tier, th uh, tier Threes, they would have been cascading waterfalls of one shots as well, because that the end game in world was also tuned for health boost the only difference is that i had fatalis armor in world and fatalis armor like i said before had built-in health uh, health boost and i could fit in divine blessing on top of as many damage skills as i needed so this isn't to say that rise did it wrong it's to say that it's if to me i actually think that they've been doing it wrong maybe for a while for however long as health boost has been involved honestly and that's crazy to say but i actually had no idea but i heard recently that um, there were some quests in one of the previous entries where they tuned up the monsters to this extent where it didn't matter how much health you had like if you had health boost or whatever you were still getting one shot by a large majority of the attacks on these monsters, but the rewards were massive. Now, I can understand that. Like, I, I, I guess, I guess, I guess there's a place for that, and maybe with a little bit of practice, anyone can get used to it. But I guess I can't move away from this sentiment that i have that simply tuning up damage across the board is the way to go all the time and i also don't want to say that these apex emergency quests need more punishing movesets or anything no i think they have really good punishing movesets and i'm glad as i said in my previous video about uh my review for rise i'm glad that they made these monsters relevant by giving them more damage i just regret the fact that they that giving them more damage was so simplistic in a way i would have preferred if they went in and gave them more damage but for the attacks that thematically should be one shots and yeah i guess you can say that i'm trying to tell the monster hunter devs how to do their jobs better <laughs> respectfully i will respectfully tell the monster hunter devs how to do their jobs better <laughs> but uh is um maybe i'm wrong on this uh maybe Maybe I'm just uh, complaining more than I should, but like I said before, I'm still very much so enjoying the content, so I don't feel like it can be construed as a complaint, because I'm still going to very much so enjoy those Apex Emergencies. I'm still practicing them, still having a lot of fun, and I'm going to have a lot of fun just uh, recording them and posting them, using them with these videos and whatnot. So, going forward, I, I can't imagine what kind of turnaround would have to take place for these devs to remove health boost i i doubt it'll ever happen it's probably the furthest thing uh from their minds i i i, I can't imagine that there would ever be or soon 
would ever be a someone at that table who raises his finger and says, hey, maybe no health boost. That's just never going to happen. So at the very least, maybe it would be more palatable, I guess, to make health boost more obtainable for those situations where you're actually interested in having it. It's like when I want to chill hunt, I guess I'll bring in health boost just to make sure I don't get the, you know, one shot by a, an attack that that is extremely light or looks laid back or something i don't know maybe i still wouldn't use it once i get used to these monsters then again it's just it's hard to say but ah uh, well honestly this is a video where i don't think i i fully have a conclusion <laughs> what i want to say well maybe i do i just uh, it takes me a bit sometimes well for Sunbreak, I think at, uh, one of the least, uh, one of the few things that they can do to maybe allevi alleviate this issue for me, and I'm not even sure if I would engage in it now that I think about it, but adding health boost as a skill, because Rise does not have health boost as a skill. Health boost is actually, in my interpretation, locked behind a time commitment. Sure, it's free, but... It doesn't work for everyone, and I'm ashamed to admit that I'm asking for a health boost as a skill. Uh, it's probably something that I would have held back from, but the more I thought about it, just the more I felt this way, that, that the structure is kind of off, and it could use a little bit of tweaking. I prefer for my difficulty to come from a punishing moveset on a monster, and... Um, I don't know, I guess from structure and at health boost, when you have health boost three in world, it felt structured in a good way. So I guess if I were to be, I don't know, I guess, I guess at the end of the day, I'm asking for the game to be easier, no matter how I slice it, which is unfortunate, but I mean, I guess who knows, who knows, but, um, I'm still playing those apexes. I'm still having fun with them. And uh, it's like the game of Monster Hunter is so complicated that it's just hard to exactly know what even to suggest at times. But, well, it's just, you know, conversation. It's a thought that crossed my mind, something that I'd been thinking about for a while. And it really flared up once I started working on those uh, Apex Emergencies and Rise without the Spirit Birds, without Health Boost. I mean, it's uh, when you're getting used to it, those one shots they feel they they're just you know they're crazy but um well i guess with enough practice it just doesn't even matter anymore because i guess you shouldn't be getting hit but either way still would like the option of health boost in sunbreak in case i just want to stop giving a crap about those things and uh on occasion you know some if i want if I want to just forego that for pure damage, then I could just go ahead, just as easily avoid it, get rid of it, or maybe even one level or two level of health boost is all I need, or who knows, who knows what we'll end up with, but yeah, those are my thoughts uh, on the end game and how I would like my damage structured, uh, I guess in the dream world for me, that's pretty much what it would be. Uh, structuring them thematically based on the monster rather than based on how much health the, the hunter has and yeah anyway let me know what you guys think in the comment section most likely i'll respond because i won't say it again don't want to sound like a broken record but yeah uh thanks for listening in hopefully this was either some good you know monster hunter discourse uh Maybe some good background noise. I, I know I love my background noise. I have other YouTube content creators playing in my in my uh, earphones all the time when I'm coming, going to work. And I'm hoping that these videos do the same for somebody and keep, uh, you know, just uh, keep a little bit of discussion floating about things to think about and whatnot. Anyway. I'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you take care. Keep it simple or make it simple. You know, life in general on occasion. Go back to those video games. Go back to those podcasts and just uh, unwind whenever necessary. Times are hard. Times are always hard. But yeah.
Take care of yourself mentally and physically, and I'll see you on the next one.